My God, he don't want you to be lost, but he wants you to come to repentance. My God, and he'll fill you with the Holy Ghost. Huh? But the thing of it is, it's sins in the way. Huh? Everybody got to deal with them sins. Huh? Sins got to be addressed. Huh? Sometimes we put blinders on. Y'all, come on, don't lose it now. Huh? Sometimes we put blinders on. Some things we don't want to see. We don't want to acknowledge that. Huh? But you know, to get help, huh? you got to acknowledge, Lord, I need you. Huh? They tell me I've never been. Huh? But they tell me, uh, when people go to Alcoholic Anonymous, uh, I heard a man say it, uh, that went, uh, he said, before they can help you, uh, you must say uh, in the public forum, uh, everybody gathered, uh, you must say, uh, my name is John Doe, uh, I am an alcoholic. Uh, in other words, uh, they teach them not to be in denial. Uh, you want a person is in denial, uh, they can't be helped. Uh, hallelujah. Uh, same way is coming to Jesus. Huh? When we come to Jesus, huh? we know we're loaded with baggage. Huh? We know we're not saved. Huh? We know we have something wrong. Huh? We ain't in his will. Huh? But we come huh? and sometimes people come huh? in denial. Huh? They come home all right yourself. Huh? But you know you're not all right. Huh? I got it together. Huh? But you know it's not together. Huh? And the Lord says, I can't help you. Because huh? you won't come honest huh? before me. Huh? I can tell you huh? this is my testimony. Huh? My God, I got so fed up with that life I was living. Hallelujah. I just hit the bottom. I got tired of clubs. Thank you, Jesus. I got tired of drinking Richard's wine and bourbon and moonshine. I got tired of cussing and swearing and fighting and lying and playing poker and gambling and losing everything I had. I finally got sick of it. And I Come to Jesus, huh? saying, Lord, I'm coming, you know, but I ain't that bad. Uh, uh, you can do this for me if you want to. Huh? No, huh? I came dragging to Jesus huh? like a beat up dog. Huh? There ain't nowhere to go home. Huh? All cut up and bruised. Huh? Dog up the road and beat the hell on the back. Huh? And you drag home. Huh? They want the master to do something for you. Huh? And the master take him huh? and rub him down and wash him huh? and put him in the pen. Huh? So now stay in here. spirit of repentance and a spirit of repentance is Lord I'm just messed up I've tried everything and everything I tried didn't work the streets ain't working for me the clubs ain't working for me that old no good boyfriend I got ain't working <laughs> for me the job I got ain't done good on the job it's me I'm just messed up if you come to God like that Honest, honest. You know what he said? I've been waiting for you. I got Bible to back it up. When Apostle Paul met Jesus on the road to Damascus, and that light blinded him, the Bible said he led him by his hand on to Damascus. When he got there, God spoke to Ananias. And said, Ananias, go there to Saul and lay hands on him to receive his sight. And I said, oh no, Lord. We heard about him. He's down here to do some bad things to your people. But the Lord said, oh no. He praying now. Amen. See, God put you in a position where you can't do nothing but pray. Amen. My God, these bad folk, these tough folk. God can put you on your knees. Why? He put me on mine. Thank you, Jesus. Caused me to repent now. He didn't make me do it, but the situation was so bad I had no way out. Anybody ever been in the way? You had no way out? Thank you, Jesus. Man, Jesus was my out. Lord have mercy. Just to think about my past make me shake it. But I'm pressing towards the mark. Because God made a promise. My God, he promised to save me, and he did. He promised to save you, and he will. He's able to keep his promise. He's able to fulfill everything he said. He's able to bring you out. He's able to deliver you. So I heard somebody say, can't deliver He can deliver you. That's what made him God. My God, he got so much power that he took his own life and laid it down. My God, yes, yes, yes. 
Jesus said, no man take my life. I got power to lay it down. I got power to pick it back up. What do you mean? My God, when he was on that cross, huh, when it all was finished, when all the sins of the world huh, came on him, Jesus himself walked out that body. Jesus himself allowed that body to lay down and die and put it in the grave. My God, he got so much power, he went back to that tomb, got in that body and picked it up. My God, it was seen by 500 at one time, seen by many at one time. He had so much power that he was sitting in the glory way he came from. He had so much power, he came back on Pentecost and filled 120 with the Holy Ghost. He got so much power, he Folks, huh, by the millions huh, with the Holy Ghost huh, for thousands of years. Huh, that's the power he got. Huh, and you telling me huh, he can't deliver you huh, out of your situation? Huh, the devil is a lie. Huh, your flesh is a lie. Huh, he can deliver you. Huh, and he will. You got it, bro. And so after he had patiently endured, uh -huh. he obtained the promise. Yeah, one thing people don't have patience. They don't have patience to wait. The Bible said, after Abraham patiently endured, he waited. After he waited, he obtained, he received the promise. Read. For well, men verily swear by the grave. Look what the men do. Read. And an oath for confirmation is to them mm -hmm. an end of all strife. Yes. Wherein God, willing more abundantly to show unto the heirs of promise. God, more abundantly to show unto the heirs of promise what? The immutability of his counsel. Read. Confirmed it by God. God confirmed his counsel. By an oath. God's counsel is the book. Amen. God's instructions. He confirmed it with an oath. That's what God did. Thank you, Lord. He did what man couldn't do. Read. That by two immutable things mm -hmm. in which it was impossible for God to lie. Uh, what? It was impossible for God to lie. Let me tell y'all something. You can take God in his word. Somebody said, God choose not to lie. That's a lie. That's a lie. It's impossible for God to lie. God couldn't lie if he wanted to. Because God cannot be associated with a lie. Because a lie is followed by the wrong one. The lie won't follow by God. The vows of the devil is a liar. And he's the father of the lie. So God got no dealing with him. God is truth always have been true. God is holy always have been holy. Be ye holy for I am holy, said the Lord. Follow peace with all men and holiness without, which no man shall see the Lord. So the Bible tells us you can trust him. Why? Why can you trust his word? Because he cannot lie. Huh? For in two immutable things, in which it was impossible. Somebody say impossible. impossible. For God to what? To lie. He can't lie. Right. So if he said it, that's seven. Mm -hmm. See, the problem is not with God. The problem with the human family. Right. Believing God. But if we believe God, see the Bible tells us in this same book, he that comes to the Lord must believe that he is. And that he is a reward of them that diligently seek him. See, God without faith, it's impossible to please God. You must believe it. You must walk with him by faith. This is a faith walk. This is a trust walk. This is a trust because the one we are trusting made an oath. The one we are trusting promised. A few more verses. Read. We might have a strong consolation mm -hmm. who have fled for refuge to lay hold upon the hope set before us. There's hope. Oh, yeah. We're not a people walk around without hope. We got hope. 
Our hope is in Jesus. We hope he come back for us. That's our hope. You live holy. You live clean. 